This is the 450 class we got the lobby loaded in. Gonna get this thing started. Moving along at a pretty good pace tonight. Hopefully we won't run into any milestone issues like we have in weeks past, but hey, as you all know, that's a uh, subject to change. Anything could happen, so track for tonight is JGR Dalton by Shire. Another good Shire track. Shout out to him for making us some tracks this season. This track is uh, very good, has a lot of good line uh, choices, if you will, a lot of good places to make passes. Um, we are just going to hop straight into this thing, no gate picks. Got a really good lineup tonight, a lot of quick guys in here. I think there's five, six guys that could contend for a moto win. So with that being said, we're, we're in for a good one. We have our man Iowa Hawkeyes coming out of retirement, GP retirement, if you will. Um, he is joining us. Um, been playing a lot of MX bikes. Obviously, rips on Supercross, but he played last GP season. First appearance in this one, so we'll see how he can do. But Saltman, Xerox, Samuel YZB have been on rails. We are missing pressure applier tonight, unfortunately. But that is how it goes in these video games. Uh, you can't make every round sometimes, but it is what it is. We will have some good racing either way. Hopefully, pressure can hop right back into it next week with no issues. <laughs> That's funny, Shire. What's up, man? Thanks for joining the stream. Hopefully, we load into this moto with no issues. All right, so we are in. Thank God. We are good to go. 20 seconds. These guys are going to get their setups ready to go. Lineup for tonight is Samuel YZB, Velt, Brennan Bros, Iowa Hawkeyes, Duncan, Nick, uh, Penfold, Sean, Novello, Saltman, Folda, MX Ghost, I'm Xerox, and Dilute Tiger. So pretty loaded lineup, stacked full 450 class. Here we go. Round 5, Moto 1. Revs are up. Gates are down in the 450 class. Let's go on board with Saltman. And not quite sure if he was sleeping on the gate or what happened there. We're going to make sure that there's no weird reset for anybody. Everyone got through clean. All right, so let's check on our leader early. It is Dilute Tiger. It is Breast Cancer Awareness Week for round five, so a lot of these guys having the pink out kits. Penfold Sean in second. MX Ghost third, I'm Xerox fourth, Iowa Hawkeyes fifth, Saltman in sixth, Brennan Bros seventh, Novello eighth, Duncan tenth, Folda eleventh, Samuel all the way back in twelfth, so Samuel's got some work to do early, but as of right now it's Dilute Tiger coming into this little double, double section, you can double that inside roller in the 450s, a pen fooled Sean trying to make a move early. Wants to get out front and run away while he can because he's got some fast guys coming. MX Ghost right on the rear wheel here in third. Iowa Hawkeyes fourth, Saltman fifth, and Xerox sixth. So one through six all right here bottled up in this little sweeping corner. That inside line is going to be huge tonight. Let's see what these guys are doing in this section. That looks like it's going to be the line, and this inside is crucial as well. Iowa going to go outside, carry his momentum, try to sweep underneath. Might pick a couple people off here. He does. It looks like he makes a pass on Saltman, who goes down. So that's going to allow Xerox to sneak into fifth. Iowa Hawkeyes still fourth. Up front, MX Ghost makes a move into second. Gets around Penfold Sean, who's still trying to hold his line strong around the outside. Line gets cut off. MX Ghost trying to make work early. Get his way up front. He makes a pass on Dilute Tiger on that inside. Dilute still right here. Let's see if it's a better drive through this section. These guys are tripling in and then double-double going up the hill. This is another crucial line. Let's see what MX Ghost is able to do here. He's going to try to double in. Not successful. Dilute Tiger goes down. That's going to allow a couple guys by. Penfold Sean being one of them. He's going to move into the second place position. Iowa Hawkeyes in third. Sitting back trying to see where these guys are. What lines they're hitting and where he can maybe make up some time. But is that Saltman? It is. Saltman is trying to make a move on Iowa early. These guys are having a hell of a battle early. Let's see if Saltman can get up to those leaders and get past them and run away. But Iowa Hawkeyes is not going to make it easy. He's still sitting in fourth. I'm Xerox just a little bit off the pace in fifth, but still not far out of this thing at all. Dilute Tiger falling back to sixth. Duncan, a better showing for him in seventh. Brennan Bros back in eighth. Gets reset. 
The belt in ninth. Sammy YZB trying to make some moves, but struggling to get the ball rolling forward here. But 10th is better than 12th nonetheless. Back to 11th is Novello 276. And fold it in the 12th place position. MX Ghost has your lead here. JGR Dalton, a lot of really tough sections through here. This little uphill double is hard even on the 450s, so these guys having to stretch it out. Now let's check and see. Oh, the gap back to Saltman is not big. Saltman trying to make moves early. Penfold, Sean, third. Want to keep an eye on these guys through this rhythm. They get through clean. These 450s having a little bit easier of a time through some of these tough sections. But MX Ghost holding strong. Let's see how long he can hold off Saltman. But Saltman is on a warpath early. Had the worst start. Was 12th coming across the line the first time. Already in second. But this is the case we typically see with Saltman. So no surprise there. Penfold Sean back in third. And Xerox in fourth. So Xerox making up a little bit of time now. Iowa Hawkeyes falls back to fifth. Still a good showing for him. Considering the amount of time he's probably had on the game as of late. Duncan Nick now making some moves. He's up in six. As I say that, he goes down, almost catches Duluth Tiger, but Duluth's going to slide out in the turn. So these guys, a couple mistakes in the middle of the pack. Samuel YZB is going to capitalize. He is now in seventh, so made three moves on this lap. Has that steezy outside line, trying to get a better drive and get around Duncan Nick. Let's see if he cuts under. He does. Able to almost double in. Duncan gets a better drive, and he is going to work his way past Samuel again. So these guys going back and forth. Good paddle, battles all the way through the pack here. I'm Xerix in third, but Iowa makes a pass, and it looks like MX Ghost is struggling just a little bit behind them. He made a mistake in that turn after the finish, so now sitting fifth. Let's see if he's able to do anything here with 10 minutes plus 2. But Saltman is out front and in control of this thing. He's got a good gap back to Penfold Sean. So these, uh, I believe this is, he's on the Stell Racing Team, I think is what it's called. It's a new team. Pretty sure it's him, Tyson, and Novella or something like that. Uh, so shout out to them. Those boys have been putting in the work tonight. Um, Tyson had a good shine in the 250 class. Got on the box in his first league race. So good for him. Vivid's a good showing for the champ, yeah, absolutely, and JTE Racing, great racing, yes sir, thanks for tuning in, as I say that, Xerix working his way up to second, gets around Penfold Sean, so the veteran making a pass into the second place position, right where he needs to be to battle for this overall, but Mr. Hawkeyes, really not too far out of this thing. MX Ghost 5th, Duncan still in 6th, Belt 7th, Samuel made a couple mistakes and he's fallen all the way back to 8th now, so Sam really needs to start charging to get up there. Brennan Bros in ninth, but slides out, same thing for Dilute, so just a lot of mistakes unfortunately for some of these guys, it's really going to cost them on this track. This track will sneak up and get you if you're not careful, there's a lot of spots that will do it to you. So Saltman, JGR Team Fried Rider out front, looking to get himself another overall victory here tonight at round five at JGR Dalton. Solid showing for Saltman here. Again, just continuing to open up the gap. He's got a good 15 seconds on this battle for second, but Xerix and Iowa Hawkeyes putting on a show. Iowa getting a good drive, tries to triple over that inside roller, but he's not able to do that. Both guys hitting that scrub cancel pretty clean. Xerox going inside and Iowa Hawkeyes electing to go outside there. Iowa just going to kind of sit back and see if he can wait for a good moment to make a pass on Xerox here. This little double out of the turn, super tough. Really got to have the RPMs high. Cannot risk bogging there at all. You will hard case that thing for sure. But these guys showing a lot of different line selection here. This second half of the track especially, there's a lot of line choices a lot of room to make passes. We're coming up on one here. Let's see if Iowa can do anything interesting to make a pass. Both doubling in. Iowa debatably gets just a little bit better of a drive. He's going to have the inside, but he plays nice. He's going to square up, go outside. Xerox, good drive on that inside rut. Both of these guys opting to hit that triple in the middle of that section. So these guys kind of running the same lines right now but MX Ghost is working his way back into this but oh Iowa gets reset unfortunately so MX Ghost in third now that's going to mean Iowa is going to lose a little bit of time and Xerox goes down in second so that downhill double proving to be very difficult 
if you don't clear it cleanly and that rear wheel comes up you will lose traction it happened to me a couple times in 250 moto has already seen it happen a couple times here in 450 moto one and iowa gets reset again so here come penfold sean oh and he shoves iowa outside of the line there that is super unfortunate that's going to be a warning for penfold sean I know you want to try to make those passes when you can, but that was not good there. It was a little aggressive. He could have made that passes in other ways, so that is a warning for Penfold there. Back to Sam and Six, so all this chaos in the front of the pack and a couple mistakes is allowing Sam to close the gap a little bit. Duncan Nick with a good ride in seventh, a lot better this week than he was looking last week. Definitely picked up some speed. Velt back in eighth. Brennan Bros ninth. Dilute Tiger tenth. Novello eleventh. And Folda still in twelfth. Back up front. Let's check on Saltman. You can see those guys off in the distance. A good 15 seconds back of him at this point. Six minutes plus two left to go in this moto. MX Ghost really wasn't in the middle of this moto. It was looking like he might be having some trouble to stay up with that lead group, but a couple mistakes allowed him to sneak right back in. He's got Xerox not too far off of him in third. Iowa Hawkeye's making that pass on Pinfold Sean, I'm, I'm assuming, unless there was a mistake. Pinfold gets reset, so that's going to open up a little bit more space for uh, Iowa. Pinfold now behind Samuel YZB, who takes the fifth place position. keep an eye on these guys through this rhythm here so definitely a lot of guys bottled up all it takes is one mistake for everyone to catch a guy here and Penfold gets reset again so he needs to be super careful with some of these tight resets here tonight at Dalton up to Sammy YZB here in fifth putting on the battery time your hard charger ride in moto one here he was 12th on lap one all the way up to fifth Iowa in fourth. He's got Xerox in sight. So these two find each other once again. And oh, Iowa gets reset there, unfortunately. Going to ride that rear wheel. Still hit that double even after a bad drive from the reset. I'm Xerox. Looking good in third. He has MX Ghost in sights in second. But will he have enough time to hunt him down? He needs to do so to get himself in a good position to win this overall. If he can beat Salt Moto 2. But right now, MX Ghost is giving himself the best shot. But our man Saltman still cruising out front. Got a good lead. Looks like he's in cruise control here. Knows he has no immediate threats behind him. He's just trying to ride, uh, ride smooth and finish this one out. So... MX goes still second, Xerix still third, so these guys are really, have kind of found their position late in this moto, Iowa tries to avoid getting reset there, but kind of just makes a little mistake, so Samuel now into fourth, which is a, a great showing for Sam at this stage, I mean, honestly, with with four minutes and two to go, I think Sam could get Xerix and MX Ghost here which would be an insane charge if he's able to do that. Obviously, he's not going to be able to catch uh, Saltman. No chance that that will happen, but you're looking at about a three to four second gap where Samuel's at up to I'm Xerox, and then probably another five seconds up to MX Ghost. And we've seen a lot of mistakes here tonight, so anything is possible at this stage. Again, three minutes, 45 seconds, plus two good seven eight minutes of racing still left Iowa in fifth trying to hit that inside which is a little slippery falls out of the rut see if he can get a good drive through here hits that triple clean good drive for Iowa so has some work to do but still not out of this thing yet Samuel YZB closing the gap now on I'm Xerox Sam looks to have some pretty good lines late in this moto Let's see what these guys are able to do here. MX Ghost, however, is also finding some good lines of his own. He's pulling out in second now, so in the middle of a JGR Team Fried sandwich, he is. We got JGR Team Fried 1, 2, and 4, or, or I'm sorry, 1, 3, and 4 right now, so good ride for MX Ghost. Dicing things up. Samuel fell off the Xerox just a little bit there, a little bit of yin and yang if you will. These guys are have better sec, uh, sectors of the track. Sam gets a pretty good drive to these rollers before the finish. So it looks like the only battle on the track at this point might just be the one for third. Iowa has fallen off just a little bit now, maybe kind of going into conservative mode, but not a bad ride again for him. 
fifth in his first showing. Hasn't even really played the game to my knowledge. So it just shows you how talented this guy is at these style games. Coming out here, hanging with the best of the best. These 450 boys are flying. Yeah, man, they really are. A lot of good racing here tonight. I'm excited for a good Moto 2, but we still have a couple laps here in Moto 1. Penfold Sean still holding down 6. Impressive ride for him. Velt Jr. in 7th. The Loot Tiger 8th. Duncan Nick falling back a little bit, but still impressed with his ride back at 9th. Bernard Bros 10th. Novello 11th. And Folda still 12th. Saltman out front still controlling this thing. He might come up on some lap traffic here. Unfortunately, we cannot warn lap traffic in this game, which is super unfortunate. So if Folda is listening to the stream while he races, just be sure to move over for the lead group once they come by. Oh yeah, Liam, which, uh, which race were you, my man? So Samuel looks like he got around I'm Xerox. I was reading the stream comments. Must have missed something. But now they are not far behind MX Ghost. So can the two JGR Team Pride Riders catch MX Ghost and sweep the podium once again? We will have to see. Liam Bayless, I met your, um, what's your PlayStation username? Iowa Hawkeyes back in fifth. Just a little too far out of this thing, I think, with the pace that second through fourth is running at the moment. But we're going to check on this battle. Sammy YZB gets reset on the inside. Xerix is going to make that pass. MX goes still in second. So every time that those two boys catch up to him, he seems to uh, capitalize on their mistakes and open the door. Oh! MX Ghost gets reset. Now this is anyone's ball game. These guys are all within a couple seconds of each other, so this is going to be a battle down to the wire. Saltman coming up on lap traffic. That's folded 925 and 12th in front of him. Oh, nice, Liam. Good job. Nice racing tonight. Hope to see you out next week, my man. Congrats. MX Ghost still holding down the second spot. I'm Xerox and Sammy YZB looks like they got into each other there. These guys are trading plastics late in moto number one. JTE, keep working on it, my man. I've been, uh, this is ripping, obviously, but uh, I've been doing this for, this is my fifth season of competitive racing now. And I'm just getting to a point where I'm really battling in majority of the motos. So keep working, man. It takes time. But happy to see you come out for the races. Oh, and I just as I pan Iowa, he goes down. Didn't even get the chance to say anything there. Don't want to curse him any further. So Iowa getting a feel for this track. Better believe he'll be up front uh, battling the moto number two once he gets his lines figured out. Don't want to pan away from this battle for second. Looks like Saltman did go ahead and get that two-lap card. So these guys a little bit behind. They should be able to get in on the lead lap, however. So two to go. MX Ghost holding strong just when I thought maybe he might fall victim to passes from both Samuel and Xerix. Oh, and I just, every time I talk about this guy, he makes a mistake. That reset's going to be crucial. Oh, he really took that line away there, but hey, riding the wide bike, you got to do what you got to do. Xerix trying to make a pass here. MX Ghost holding the line firmly. Doesn't want to allow even the slightest bit of wiggle room for Xerix to make a pass. He goes off track, going to get reset. That's going to allow Samuel YZB and I'm Xerix to go around him. So that's how quick it can change. 30 seconds ago, I was saying that MX Ghost was holding on to that second place position pretty easily, and now he's falling back to fourth. I mean, and these guys are just in a row right here. going to be who can get through these last two laps with minimal mistakes 
and just hitting their marks, picking your spot, hit your marks. But MX Ghost looks like he got honestly a pretty pretty good drive through there. All three riders hitting that inside. No one is really messing with this inside tonight, right there that they're going through. It looks like it might just be a little finicky with the reset, but if someone could pull it off, it might be a fast line. So all three of these guys kind of just following in tow. Maybe saving up to charge for a last lap move. But all three of these guys could get that second place position. I'm Xerix holding that inside line. Opting to go right in this section here. Gets a good drive. Almost quads down the hill. Goes triple double single out. He's got Samuel YZB on the outside now. Samuel tries to cut underneath. Is he going to have enough steam to get through this section? He is not. Xerix is going to get the better drive. Both of them cleared the downhill triple. MX goes just a little bit off the pace now. I'm Xerix with a solid ride, P2, Sammy YZB sneaks up the inside, both of these guys toe to toe through the rollers, and it is going to be one lap to go, Saltman still out front, in control of this thing with no issues, but we're going to keep an eye on this battle for a second, Sammy YZB gets a better turn off that little mini, uh, mini inside rut. And both of these guys battling for a position. This would be huge for Samuel, who came from dead last. I mean, he was pretty much dead last after lap one or even maybe two or three. So he really put some work in to get where he's at. MX Ghost now kind of just accepting his position at this point. Good five, six seconds back of these boys in second and third. But at the moment, it's J13 Pride sweeping the podium once again. If it finishes this way, one, two, and three. Xerix trying to make a last lap pass on Samuel YZB. These guys have been back and forth all moto. They have similar lines both into this uphill double now. Let's see if they can get this inside rut. Samuel opting to go outside. Xerox trying to hit it. Falls out of line just a little bit, but a pretty good save there. This rhythm is going to be huge. Tripling in. Samuel gets caught up. Almost looks like fold his bike. Screwed with him there. He's on the outside of this inside rut. Xerox gets a better drive. Just trying to settle in. Saw him kind of check up. Settle down a little bit. Now these guys are neck and neck. It is going to be an interesting last lap here. Let's see when Salt's going to get across the line. Got another about 10 to 15 seconds till Salt's across the line. So hopefully these guys can finish the lap. Sammy YZB still holding down second. And Saltman17 didn't get to talk about him much in this one. He was so far out front, out of the battles, but he is your Moto 1 winner. Sammy YZB still holding down the second place position. 23 seconds to get to the line for these guys. Xerox trying everything he can to make a pass here. Gets a good drive, hits this downhill triple. These guys are going to be wide open going through this start stretch here. Let's see if Xerox can get a better drive and hold this inside line. Sam hits that inside roller. Oh, Xerox almost gets reset, and that's going to slow him up just enough. Samuel YZB going to come home in second, Xerox third. So those are the only guys on the lead lap. MX goes just a little bit back in fourth. Iowa Hawkeyes fifth, Penfold Sean sixth, Velt Jr. in seventh, Duncan eighth, Dilute ninth, Brennan Bros tenth, Novella eleventh, and Folda in twelfth. That was a mouthful, but... Hell of a moto there. Really good race in a moto one. Saltman takes it home, but a lot of good battles in the middle of the pack there. So super excited to see uh, what these guys have in store for us with moto two. Going to give them just a couple minutes to have a bathroom break or whatever they might need. And we'll resume with racing in about two to three minutes here. And uh, yeah, Liam, just saw your comment, but we will be doing this on MXGP22 in the future, whenever that came comes out, that is. Um, this will probably be our last series for a little while, to be honest. Um, we uh, all kind of have some real life things coming up at the end of this year. Um, and, you know, we've, we've done a couple series on both Supercross 5 and MXGP21, and it's been a fun couple months, but we're going to wrap it up for a couple months and, um, and then come back when new games come out. But uh, we will also be doing some sort of 
um, GP of Nations event at the end of the season where we'll have teams come out and we'll do a team racing format kind of just like MX of Nations so stay tuned for that if you guys are interested let us know we're going to give these guys just one more minute here and we will have Moto2 of the 450 class underway here at JGR Dalton All right, we are gonna get this thing started. Moto number two, the 450 class. Been some insane battles so far tonight. If you're just joining us on stream, this track for tonight, JGR Dalton by Shire413. Shout out to him again. Thank you for making us some sick tracks for this season. Love to hear y'all's picks. Who do you think is gonna get it done in Moto number two? I got money on Saltman, but I think Xerix and Sam will give him a uh, harder battle this time around. straight into it here hopefully so we don't have any lag issues again Yeah, sure. It's uh, it's been really sick. Your tracks have a lot of good lines, good line choices, and um, create some good battles. So, if we uh, have an MXGP 22, hopefully, um, we'll have you build some tracks for that custom series whenever that time comes. So, thank you again. And fingers crossed. All right, 20 seconds till gate drop on moto number two. Again, the lineup here tonight is Duncan, uh, I'm Xerox, MX Ghost, Novello, Iowa Hawkeyes, Dilute Tiger, Salt Man, Velt Jr., Folda, Pinnacle, Brennan Bros, and Samuel YZB. These guys are getting their setups dialed in, and we're about to drop the gate here at JGR Dalton. Revs are up, and gates are down. Let's go on board with Dilute Tiger here. See how he is. He's up front off the start. Going wide open trying to get it done. Gets reset unfortunately. But hey, worth the try. And it's going to be MX Ghost out front early. Iowa Hawkeyes switching up bike here. Might have been a, a big issue for him in moto number one. Maybe uh, KTM's a little more comfy for him. All right. Samuel YZB in third, so good start for Sam in this meadow. Has a good opportunity to maybe get this overall win. I'm Xerox back and forth to Luke Tiger fifth, Velt sixth, Novello seventh, Duncan eighth, Saltman in ninth. So another bad start for Saltman, unfortunately. Uh, we definitely know he's got the speed to get up there to the front, though. He's got 15 long minutes. So Brennan Bros back in tenth, Fold at eleventh, and Penfold Sean in twelfth. MX goes still out front. Iowa Hawkeyes trying to make a statement here early. See if he can make a pass on MX Ghost and maybe run away with this thing. But Samuel YZB following these guys around the outside. Let's see who can get the best drive through this rhythm here. Looks like Sam almost gets a better drive, but Iowa cuts over to the inside, takes the line away. Sam is forced to kind of check up a little bit there. 
these guys on skates on this downhill section got to be super careful to not slide out we've seen that quite a bit tonight tricky little section here at JGR Dalton again it will sneak out and, uh, and grab you in certain parts of the track so you got to be careful I'm Xerox just a little ways back and forth just kind of watching these guys in front of him plenty of racing so he just needs to settle in focus on his lines and he'll work his way up there Luke Tiger back in fifth but I want to keep an eye on this battle because this is a banger early MX Ghost and Iowa Hawkeyes Ooh, MX Ghost is going to take the line away luckily no one reset there that's a tricky little reset too Iowa going around that roller keeping his momentum power on the ground but Sam the YCB almost making a pass there so Sam now Sitting back in third, waiting for the right moment to strike. Almost makes a pass stick there, but not enough drive coming out of that turn to get past Iowa. No major moves by these guys early. Being patient and waiting for the right time, but Samuel YZB needs to get moving. If he wants a chance at this overall win, he needs to get on the gas. I'm Xerox back in fourth. Still not a bad ride for him. Duncan in fifth. Dilute sixth. And Saltman seventh. So Saltman is on the gas trying to get back up front again in moto number two. Velt, not a bad ride in eighth. Let's see if he can make something better at this moto. I think he was eighth in moto number one, if I'm not mistaken. Novello and Penfold Sean going at it. I'm pretty sure these guys are teammates, so letting it all hang out here in moto number two. Brennan Bros back in 11th and Folda in 12th. Back up front to our leader, MX Ghost. Still holding off Iowa Hawkeyes in moto number two. Samuel Wisey B third. So not a whole lot changing down the field here. Dilute Tiger with a solid ride in fifth. I believe he was ninth in Moto 1. So this would definitely be an improvement. Help out his overall score for the evening. Duncan showing some better speed tonight. Seriously, but just seems like he struggles a little bit later in the motos starts falling back a little bit so let's see if he can uh, keep this pace through the entire 15 minutes Velt making a move into seventh looks like he got around salt man not sure if salt made a mistake or what but salt man also needs to get moving here again no doubt he has the speed but um, sometimes it's easy to get caught up in the field and some of these guys will slow you down even if you have better pace um, you know these guys are trying to ride for a position as well and they'll take some of your lines away and, and make it harder for you to go really your max speed so salt so needs to be careful not to get caught up in traffic here start picking off a couple more passes quickly if he wants to get up to the front let's check on our leaders it is still mx ghost one iowa hawk guys two and samuel yzb and third and these three guys are back to back to back here just as they were five minutes ago at the start of this race i'm xerox just a little bit off the pace unfortunately looks like these lead three are really pushing themselves forward Sam's going to get a really good drive. Oh, lands on MX Ghost. That's going to cost him a little bit of time. Iowa Hawkeye is going to make the pass around the outside. Momentum is king in MXGP. And Iowa is showing that here with an outside pass. So can MX Ghost fight back? Sammy YZB up the inside now tries to make a pass stick. MX Ghost cases the double, but really holding his line strong. Can Samuel slide on the inside? Oh, and MX Ghost. That was just a racing incident there, unfortunately. Both of them guys committing to that same line, and it looks like Sam kind of had a little outward momentum, and MX Ghost just got a bad bounce off of him there. So now you got Iowa Hawkeyes in first, Samuel YZB in second. MX Ghost still not far out of this thing, but Xerox sneaking a little bit closer now in fourth. So definitely has the potential to work his way up here. Those leaders have not made a lot of mistakes yet, but anything can happen. So these guys are crossing the line. Where is Saltman? Saltman has some work to do. He has worked his way into fifth. So check number one. Like I said, he needed to make some uh, 
make some passes quick on that lap there. He does, so he checks that box. Next key to the race for Saltman here is to just put in some heaters, hit your marks, and do not make a mistake because those guys out front are moving, and he does want to catch them if he wants this overall. Velt also making some passes in motor number two, working his way up into six, so better ride for him. Where is Dilute? Dilute is back in seventh now. So unfortunate break for him, but still not a terrible ride in moto two. Has plenty of time. Duncan falling back to eighth. Penfold Sean charging in ninth. Has the potential to get a couple guys in front of him. Kane work his way all the way up to six, but those top five guys are checked out. They will not be caught by this group, mark my words. Brennan Bros in 10th, Novello 11th, and Folda in 12th still. Back up front, Iowa Hawkeyes and Samuel YZV battling. Iowa's got the outside. Samuel hits that inside cheese line perfectly. So he's going to make a pass here, but Iowa gets a good drive down the hill. Both those guys careful to not slide out there, hitting this inside line before the uphill double. Both get it clean. This is a little tough S-bend section here where your momentum kind of carries you into that face of that downhill double there. So you almost got to be careful not to launch it too far on these 450s. Both of these guys hitting the outside of this rhythm lane here, almost skipping it like a whoop section at the end. Not up in the air at all. MX goes back a little ways, but not far out of this thing. But Sammy Wise being Iowa Hawkeyes putting on a hell of a battle here in moto number two with seven minutes to go plus two laps. MX goes still back in third, Xerox fourth, and Saltman in fifth. Saltman's got a lot of time to make up. But I have a feeling he could still probably do it. It's definitely going to come down to the wire. This is going to be insane. So Sammy YZB would win the overall at this stage with a 2-1. That would be his first overall of the year. But Iowa is trying everything he can to get up here and at least snag that Moto2 win. Looking a lot better in this one. I knew he'd find his lines and his pace around this track here at Dalton. And that Moto2 would be a little bit better for him after he could get a little reset there. So MX goes still back in third, but I actually think he might be making up a little bit of time on those guys who are playing cat and mouse out front. So MX goes putting in some good heaters at the halfway mark here. Xerox, I don't want to say he's out of it. He's not out of it, but he really needs to start charging now. Saltman in fifth. So Saltman, he can see all of those guys. He knows exactly where he stands and what he needs to do here. It's definitely possible for him to catch those guys. I want to say he had the quickest lap time by like two seconds at least in the first moto. So, um, I mean, he pulled out on those guys by a good 30 seconds. So he definitely can get up there and make up this time. Just needs to charge and keep, keep looking forward and focusing on what he can control. But he is definitely making up time. Let's go back up front and check on our leaders. Iowa Hawkeyes makes a pass on Samuel YZB now. So Iowa back out front in moto number two. Samuel YZB in second. And MX Ghost just struggling to make up that last little bit of time that he needs to. It's so hard because these guys are all going nearly the same speed. So you really got to rely on these guys making a mistake. Sammy YZB still second behind Iowa. Iowa just absolutely flat lands that finish jump. Makes it work for him though. Samuel, good ride in second. He would still have this overall with a 2-2, but Iowa Hawkeye spins out going up the face. So that is going to allow MX Ghost to work his way back into this equation here because all of a sudden if you're MX Ghost you see Iowa Hawkeyes right in front of you and you got Sammy YZB about five seconds in front of him so uh, this this is anyone's ball game these top three guys I mean even Xerox he is falling off that pace just a little bit but again I mean anything could happen I mean he sees those guys in front of him salt man Saltman making up a little bit of time, but it might just not be enough in this moto. It looks like that lead group, they really uh, they really found their pace in this second moto, so it's really harder for Salt to close the gap. Check on Velt back in sixth here. Solid ride for him. 
I think that'd be an 8-6. I'd probably put him up there in that 6th or 7th overall range. But Duncan Nick showing a little bit better endurance in moto number two, holding on strong in the middle of the pack here in seventh, not losing too many positions, but he's got Dilute Tiger coming for him here. Unable to hit that triple, but kind of gets through there decently enough. So he's going to keep trying to work ahead. Penfold Sean trying to do the same. Brennan Bros in 10th. Novello still 11th and Folda back in 12th. Sammy YZB takes control of the lead again. Iowa Hawkeyes had it coming around the finish line last lap, but three minutes plus two to go. Iowa's just a little bit back now. MX Ghost in third. I'm Xerix fourth. And Saltman in fifth. But Saltman has the two podium guys in front of him. Now, just a hypothetical. I'm not quite sure if Salt has figured this out in his head. But if he can get up at least into third here and Samuel YZB loses the moto to Iowa Hawkeyes, then Saltman would still be your overall winner with a 1-3 just because that moto win is weighted a little heavier. But if Sam does get that moto win, even if Salt works his way up to third, um, then Sam would still be your overall winner tonight. But Sam making it look good out here with two minutes to go. Iowa it's still working though. These guys hitting their marks. The pace has been really good by all these guys here. Salt hitting that inside very cleanly. Let's see if he can make a pass on I'm Xerix here. Just shows you how deep this field is. Salt Man is sitting in fifth and I'm Xerix in fourth. So two guys that definitely have the potential to win every moto that they are in back here in fourth and fifth. So... I mean, all these guys back here in the back of the pack even. Velt, a very good rider in sixth. Duncan, a rookie, but showing good speed. Super impressive. Uh, Penfold in eighth. Dilute ninth. All these guys definitely have the capability. I mean, even Brennan Bros, very good rider. It just shows you how deep this field is in the level of competition that's coming out every single week. But let's check on our leader, Samuel YZB. So it's going to be three laps to go. Not enough time to get another lap before the race timer expires. So three laps Samuel YZB needs to hold on here. He's got lap traffic in front of him who slows up. Props to Folda for getting out of the way. It almost looks like he's trying to now hang with the leaders. Hopefully he doesn't do anything silly like that. I'm about to just... I don't even know if it gives me the option to kick people. I was just going to honestly boot him from the lobby. I don't want him getting in the way of anybody. Honestly shoved Iowa into a reset there and cost him a little bit of time, unfortunately. But Iowa didn't, in the grand scheme of things, lose too many seconds off Sam here. He was able to recover decently. I'm Xerox gets passed by Saltman. So now Saltman charging to try to get up to third. Let's see if Iowa can make something happen and make this interesting for the overall. Obviously, Iowa's not in contention for the overall, but he could definitely dice it up if he can get around Sam here. That would really tighten things up a little bit more. Saltman's got about five or six seconds up to MX Ghost. Really keeping a close eye on all these guys out front. The top five absolutely ripping. As you can see, they got a good 30-second gap, I would say, on back back to six belt. So. Saltman just making up time by the second here. It looks like every time I pan over to his screen, he's getting closer and closer to MX Ghost. So can he do it with two laps to go? He is working as hard as he can. Mex Ghost now getting a little bit closer to Iowa Hawkeyes. Samuel YZB really opening up a gap now. You can see he was hitting that double out of the turn before Iowa even got close to the turn. So Sam getting himself a little bit of an insurance gap here. 
MX Ghost. You know he sees Saltman's dot on the mini map. He has to be aware that Salt is coming. He has run out of time. He is charging forward pretty quickly here. Really not wasting any moment. I bet you Salt is going 100% balls to the wall right now trying to get these guys. And he is right there. I mean, really, if this moto had another four or five laps, I have no doubt Salt would work his way all the way up to at least close to Sam. I mean, this guy is on rails. I can't wait to see the lap times at the end of this one. Gets that triple clean doubles out of this rhythm. Quick little wheelie scrub over that single into that inside line. Let's see if Salt gets dicey and hits this inside. He does. So Salt has great lines all the way around this track right now. About a lap and a half to go at this stage. Oh, and Samuel gets reset. That is huge. Oh, that could really change things here. So now all Saltman has to do is get up and get MX Goat in third. MX Ghost, excuse me, in third for that overall win. Can Samuel YZB get a pass and make it happen to get around Iowa here and just solidify his chances at an overall going 2-1? It is going to be a battle all the way down to the wire. Iowa Hawkeyes getting a good drive downhill. Hits that triple cleanly. Sam struggling a little bit late in this moto. They are going to get the white flag here. One lap to go in moto number two at JGR Dalton. This 450 class has been electric tonight. Some of the greatest battles we've seen all season. Iowa Hawkeyes. Oh. Smacks the bottom of the motor on that one. Huge case there. Sanding it these guys are. MX Ghost right there in third. So if one of those two guys out front makes a mistake, MX Ghost will be right there to capitalize. And where is Saltman? Saltman is right here in fourth. So I really think, depending on how clean these guys get through some of the trickier parts of the track, really anyone in this top four could take home the win in moto number two. But it is looking likely that it will be either Samuel or Iowa Hawkeyes. Samuel's like doing a little scrub over that big single there. Tricky little double-double here. These guys trying to keep it tucked low. Let's see if Samuel hits this inside clean. Iowa's going to go outside. So does Samuel. So monkey see, monkey do. These guys don't want to risk making any mistakes here that will drop them off the pace. Samuel almost comes up a little bit short but gets a very good drive through that triple there. He's going to hit the inside as well as Iowa. Sam kind of falls out of the line, swings outside. MX goes still in third and Saltman in fourth. Can Saltman get this pass here? This is for the overall, whether he's figured that out or not. Just has to get around MX Ghost, and I'm willing, I am bet he's willing to make an aggressive pass to do that. So Iowa Hawkeyes just has to get through this downhill section clean one more time. Almost loops out, but is able to charge, I hope. I hope Novello does not ruin this battle. Oh no. Samuel in second. Can he make something happen at the last second? And MX Ghost gets pushed by Saltman, so that's going to be for the overall. Samuel YZB is going to let Iowa Hawkeyes be your Moto 2 winner. Congrats to Iowa Hawkeyes on a great Moto 2. Samuel YZB coming in with a 2 2. That's going to be second overall. Just barely going to get beat out by Saltman, who goes 1 3 for the overall. Just going to have one point on Sam tonight. Incredible night of racing here at Dalton. Congrats to MX Ghosts on a good ride in fourth. Xerox fifth. Velt in sixth. Penfold Sean seventh. Dilute Tiger in eighth. As we get the rest of the results coming through here. Duncan in ninth. Brennan Bros with a 10 10 on the night. Novello in 11th. And Folda in 12th. Insane battles there. Hell of a charge by Saltman to make a pass on MX Ghost on the last lap.
All right, guys, and that is going to conclude our stream for tonight. Uh, for whatever reason, the podium interviews never like to come up on stream for me. I've checked all my settings, and for whatever reason, it doesn't like to play the audio. So um, congrats to our top three tonight, Saltman, Samuel YZB, and I believe MX Ghost is going to be in the third overall position. So congrats to those guys on a solid ride tonight and everyone who uh, participated in round number five. We've got three rounds to go, um, and then we'll wrap this championship up so thanks for coming out guys thanks for tuning into the stream give us a follow on the socials at jgr esports league on instagram and on discord and we will see you guys next round